Okay, so I'm, uh, I've been through the house, looked around a little bit. Street view. I'm gonna tell you that from somebody like me that has extensive knowledge in this market, consider myself to have pretty good experience when it comes to rehabbing houses. I've done it myself several times. Building, working with new construction, older houses. I think investment on this house would be a mistake. I think that what it's gonna take to get this house where it needs to be, you'll never get your money back on it. Uh, several several minor issues and several, a couple issues which I'd consider to be moderately large. So the basement is a problem and I think it's all stemming from that chimney up there, not properly flashed for the roof. Um, sometimes even when it is properly flashed, you still have problems, but you can see that whoever flashed that, they didn't do it right by, by mortar tucking it and they just keep covering it with black uh, asphalt sealer. And the water is leaking down the chimney all the way to the basement, which is causing you know water in the basement, which is why they have to have this. So another thing that you'll notice is this gutter right here and all the way around the house are all dumping on the foundation which is, you know, on a house like this is gonna end up in the basement. So they've got a uh, pump, a sump pump down there. So every once in a while, whenever that float gets full, they pump that water out in the front yard. This whole area is like a swamp right here. Which is no big deal. I mean, it can be resolved, I think, with good gutters, you know, reflashing that chimney. It's gonna need a new roof. You know, I didn't get that done in inspections. I mean, it's just not something that a seller is reasonably gonna do. Uh, especially on a VA, but you know we're talking about twenty thousand dollars right there just with the roof. You can see all of this. This is all just soaked mud all the way down here. It's it's, it's a shame they do that because they could resolve it. I mean, you wouldn't have to live like this with all this water, but they may not know or they may not care. So that's the first thing I had to figure out. It was a mystery when I noticed all this water but I tracked it down there's another gutter right there look at that big hole that's just from letting water run in that corner I run into problems with uh, water and basements often with buyers and you'd be surprised how often just rerouting your gutter water will get rid of most if not all of it the other uh, issue that I see is there have been improvements, quote improvements to the house, but in my opinion, they're kind of poorly done, um, which means that, you know, it's stuff that needs to be undone and redone, which again is more money. We've got like how this laminate was put on the stairs. That's not properly done. They just slapped it on there and there's no trim work. They could use quarter round or something, but they didn't. And then you'll see that the edging on this laminate, this corner work has fallen off and it's gonna to continue to fall off because the way that uh, that was done. Laminate's not good for steps. So you have a bedroom right by the front door, it may or may not concern you. The bedrooms are nice size. This one's great. I'm sure it was actually probably a sunroom or something at one time um, because all the windows. It would make a great living area, like a living room. It's on a slab. It's got two standard closets. Okay. And again, you know, we've got, you know, here's one type of floor right here. There's a second type of floor, another type of floor, and then two more types of floor. So um, then we have one sort of casing, excuse me, sorry about that. One sort of casing around the windows, 
another casing up here, and then they put a corner casing in the corner for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they did that all around. So, and then, and then you know, the casing around the windows does not match the closet, so, you know, that would need a rehab. Just kind of looking, you know, things just tipped me off. I mean, how they put this casing up here and they miss with the nail gun. Uh, that kind of craftsmanship, it, the, what I tell my clients is if, if that's a craftsmanship you can see, what is it you can't see? I noticed this return right here. Okay, in the vent. So this return is really dirty. So that I'm thinking that the uh, there either isn't a filter or the filter hasn't been changed, which tells me the maintenance of the home isn't very good. The rust on this um, this re this uh, excuse me this vent, all that water down in that basement is causing a mass amount of humidity coming through the uh, HVAC system, and then in turn coming through the vents and causing them to rust. So you have a lot of humidity coming through. Um, so no baseboards down right here, and there's a crooked wall that has not been secured properly to. The bottom plate hasn't been secured properly for some reason, or it's just crooked, I don't know. No transition strip. And look, if this was a $189,000, $199,000 house, then I would expect some of this stuff. But your price range, I'm selling houses, four bedroom homes that are 3,600 square feet, gorgeous homes that are in excellent condition at this price. And this is, this expectation is not reasonable. I don't, I don't think. Uh, I see several issues like this where somebody put in a receptacle and didn't know how to put a box in correctly and they overcut it. There's a closet, this bedroom again, the rooms are very good size. You got one down there missing a plate. You come back through the hallway. This is where the laundry goes. There's no laundry there for some reason. I'm don't know why, but this is a closet. And the uh, back entryway, let me expand this for you. Okay, back door to the back yard, and this is going into the basement. I'll show you some of these issues real quick. So you can see on the floor, that is a result of water being in here at some point. Uh, and you know, it's it's real dirty water. So either the sump pump didn't do its job and then backed up or something, something happened. This wood stove here is hooked into the, the end chimney. There's two chimneys in this house. Um, I don't know if they're currently having problems with that leaking. There's an indication there's a leak. Foundation walls look pretty good. Um, what ends up happening is, not to sound like a know-it-all, but you know when water is leaning against the foundation wall because of the problems I was showing you outside, it causes a lot of hydraulic pressure. And there, nothing's going to stop it from leaking out the easiest way. And then right here, I mean, it's just leaking down the chimney. And you can see indications of water running right there. And then you can see where it kind of pools. And they do have a sump pump back here. Of course, see they've been squeegeeing it with that. They do have a sump pump and there's that water line that I showed you outside. It's, uh, it's not a good situation down here. And then as I suspected, you know, I see a lack of maintenance on this. This looks like not a very old system, but you know, it's being put through the ringer down here with all the humidity and I don't think that filters are getting changed. There's the filter if that tells you anything. Again, not something that can't be fixed, but that's if, if that is 
how they take care of the HVAC, then what, what, what else? So looking at the panel, which is 200 amp and pretty, looks like it's pretty much full. Not gonna get any more. This is your pressure tank for your well. And there's your pressure, pressure valve for the tank. You got a shut off for your tank, that's good, they did that right. And they've got all connectors coming out of the panel, which is good. But inspector have to open this up and really see if everything's correct. It smells like dog really, really bad down here. Okay, now this is what we call tri-level home. Here's the living room, pretty good size. Again, you know, it's great that they painted and everything, but the paint got all over the crown molding. So, I mean, it, like I tell my sellers when we're getting ready to list a house, they want to paint it and I just say, just hire somebody because we don't want to have to undo anything. Lines are broken, missing lines right there. Missing the crank wheel on the window. There's the chimney, it looks like at one time they had a gas fireplace in there and they take it out. And then, you know, this floor has been put down, which, I mean, I'm not knocking anybody. This is the cheapest laminate floor. If I have a property manager, they usually put this floor in because it's the cheapest one. They don't hold up very well to uh, this style laminate. It doesn't hold up very well to traffic or damage, for that matter. <clears throat> I stopped right here, and now we have no flooring on the steps, which that's a, you know, VA predication right off the bat, they're going to require that there's flooring put down. You can see how this was cut. So that transition is going to be messed up. No drywall really support right there. I got to step up because it tiled this. This way it needs to step up transition, and there is no transition. Also, you may or may not be able to see the, the floor leans towards the tub, which isn't real bad, but it, it does. I want to make sure you know it. It's probably off by about an inch. You can feel it when you walk on it. Shower condition is poor. They've done some spackling or something up here. Needs a new toilet. These are original windows. Um, I haven't seen, I mean, there's some indication of fogging on this one. This one looks all right, but this is probably gonna need replaced. The jetted tub looks like it's never been used, which is probably true. Pantry, they didn't take the flooring into the pantry. So I'm so sorry. So we got a nice step up transition right there, it looks like. I'm gonna say this is original. This is a half bath. Which brings me to my next problem with this home. And that is that in the home itself, there was only one and a half baths. You have that one, you have the one we were just in. The other full bath is in the shop and I'm I'm here to tell you that it is not usable. The bedroom, this one's a little smaller than the rest. This is 10, probably 10 by 12, it looks like. Plenty of windows, which is nice. Um, I don't really see any failed seals on these windows either. They look pretty good. But again, like the other rooms, you know, they painted 
got it all over the crown. And uh, they put this color trim on the windows. It doesn't match the, the trim on the crown. It doesn't match the doors or the, or the trim on the wall, or the uh, door, excuse me. Okay. Next bedroom here. Good size, this is 15 by, by 12. Nice windows. Uh, this one they painted also, but they did not put the gray trim anywhere. Into the dining room and kitchen. Nice double oven and microwave, nice appliance. That countertop is just for mica, it's not not granted or anything. Okay. Sunroom. Very nice. Okay, that was uh, the house. Walking across here. So here's your, this is probably the old AC unit is what that is. They probably put a heat pump in right here. There's that second chimney. And see how that one was flashed right. They put it in the mortar joint and noticed there was no water coming from it. Property's really nice. Now this building here, again, when you're paying almost three hundred thousand dollars for something, if you're paying two hundred fifty for this, then I would have concerns. And you see, like even the weeds are growing all the way up inside that corner. Nobody's trimmed them back. Siding right there. This backside's never been cleaned. It's just covered in a uh, split system for it, so it must be heated and cooled. Now you got all these holes in the siding. And you can tell it's right underneath the air conditioner so that condensation water is probably going right inside those you can kind of see where it's getting water in it those can be repaired i mean you can there's several holes in the siding they're all over usually from uh, mowers is what i see and then weed eater damage that, that's your weed eater damage right there i still hang out right here in a great shop I mean, i'd love to have a shop Cool shop. And then that second full bath is this. Make sure you can see this. Okay. Okay.
So yeah, they're gonna have a hard time moving this because of the condition. But uh, that is about it. That's my take on it. Uh, let me know if you have questions. I really wanted to talk to you while I was here so I could check anything you needed wanted me to check, but um, I couldn't get a hold of you. But it's all right. I'll upload this and shoot it to you. Thanks.